the state of the nation. It's harvest time in Zimbabwe, and there's a good vibe all around. We've all seen the pictures of many farmers showing us the fruit of their labor. Why not? The last few years have been really tough on our agricultural sector. The drought, the lack of preparation, and many more issues. So this year has been a big relief. How has this happened? What needs to be done? How will the farmers build on this success? Zimbabwe just had one of the best farming season in years. In the last farming year, the Sadat region had the lowest rainfall in close to 40 years. Farmers hit rock bottom. We all hit rock bottom. But there was a big turnaround. Last year, Zimbabwe produced about 900,000 tons of maize. This year, Zimbabwe expects 2.7 million tons. That's thrice as much maize as last year. By the start of June this year, farmers delivered 125,300 tons of maize to GMB depots. At the same time last year, farmers had delivered just 37,000 tons. The area under wheat has also doubled this year. How did this happen? Well, of course, we had good rains, but it has also shown that when there is better preparations, there will be great results. Government responded to climate change via climate smart agriculture, known as Pumbudza in Twasa, backed by the presidential input schemes. This worked to improve food security at household levels. There has been a significant improvement on investment in irrigation and irrigation systems, completing two dams, Ma Rowanyati and Muchekeranwa. Land under irrigation has been expanded and schemes have been maintained. This is confirmed by the Auditor General's latest report. A more welcome approach as there has been more investment in traditional grains. The traditional grains harvest this year will be 128% more than last year. In the 2019 to 2020 season, it grew by over 100%. There have been more incentives for private sector investment in agriculture. Tongat Hewlett is investing about 40 million US dollars in the Kilimanjaro project, which will turn 4,000 hectares of virgin land into productive sugarcane fields. A lot of private sector companies are investing in soya and wheat production. This has cut back on huge import bill. So, you could have good rains, but if you've not invested enough, nothing will happen. It's not just grain production that is up. Here are some numbers for you. Did you know in 2009, Zimbabwe had to spend 32 million US dollars to import vegetables? We are talking about everything from potatoes and onions and even tomatoes. By 2019, vegetable imports came down from 32 million dollars to 9.7 million US dollars. Progress, but still a little too high. In 2010, Zimbabwe spent 3 million US dollars to import potatoes. Yes, you heard that right. 3 million US dollars on potatoes. But since 2017, the area under potatoes has grown by almost 50%. This has seen potato production up by 136%. That's why the prices for a pocket of potatoes has dropped because everyone is selling them. Last year, Zimbabwe spent 300 million US dollars importing maize. This year, there may not be a need to import maize. Reportedly, the agriculture market Marketing Authority has suspended with immediate effect all imports of maize and maize meal products from June 2021. That's money saved for other essential needs in the country. For the first time in many years, Zimbabwe has grown enough food to meet its needs. This was not all due to rain. First, the planning around input distribution was better than last year. Secondly, the Pumvudza program made sure the most vulnerable households had access to the inputs they needed. Thirdly, mechanization improved from previous years. Farmers got tractors and many inputs. Not enough, but the nation can celebrate it. All this is coming after many tough years, but it's not time to sit back and relax. Farmers want to see government working even harder to make sure that this next season becomes a solid base for agriculture going forward. How will this be done and what do we want to see? Number one, we need to invest more in farming infrastructure. Here's a question. What if we get poorer rainfall than we got last season? How prepared are we? 
we need irrigation programs to be speeded up. Two new dams have recently been completed, Marowanyati Dam in Buhera and Mucheke Ranwa in Macheke. These will provide water to farmers. Smaller dams, such as the Chivu and Bindura dams, are under construction. Increasing the hectare under irrigation from 242,000 hectares to at least 350,000 hectares by 2025. 101 irrigation schemes have been targeted. The government is spending 3.9 billion ZIM dollars for the development of these schemes. There's another 14,000 hectares of communal irrigation schemes being fixed. This is a good step. We want to see this happening. Number two, farmers must use tech that makes their work better. That's smart farming. Here's an example. We have seen how renewable energy is working great for irrigation schemes. Number three, Zimbabwe had better harvests this year, but yields are still low. Yields are basically the amount of maize you can get from the piece of land that you planted on. In South Africa, farmers produce about 5.3 tons of maize per hectare. In Zimbabwe, previously many farmers still produced less than a ton per hectare. But this year, farms are expected to see a marked improvement. To build further on this, there is a need for better skills and research in drought and pest-resistant varieties. Even more investment into agritex will make this happen. Number four, storage. This is a big deal for farmers. Did you know that Zimbabwe consumes about 15,000 tons of onions per year? A lot of this is still imported. Why? It's not because there are no onion farmers. It's because they don't have the storage facilities. Onions need dryers. There are not enough of these. So we end up seeing trucks carrying them across the border. Nobody wants to see that. And number five, it's time our farmers became more professional in the way they do farming and business. In December 2020, the Minister of Agriculture said farmers must submit production reports. This is what the minister says. We envision transforming the 18,000 A2 farmers to become agricultural entrepreneurs and the farms to become enviable business by 2025. That's positive, but we haven't heard an update on this yet. Has the government really invested enough in teaching financial management to farmers? It's great to demand cash flow statements and expenditure projections from farmers, but how much has been invested in making sure farmers have these industry-specific skills? And one more thing, is it not time for the government to leave the prices to the market? If farmers have to cry about poor prices every year, then something is not working right. The government has talked about the Agriculture Commodities Exchange. This needs to work. They also need to make sure that land tenure is secure. No farmer should live with the fear that they can lose their land anytime. Farmers need a tenure system that makes it easier for banks to be confident enough to lend to them. Zimbabwean farmers have been through a lot. They are some of the hardest working people in the country. This season, they have shown us what they can do. The World Bank projects that agriculture will drive an economic recovery of 3.9% this year. Farmers are the backbone of the Zimbabwean economy. It's time we support them more. They deserve nothing less. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. What are your thoughts? 